ever wondered what actually happens when you run a Java program? I mean, how does your computer actually take those lines of code and display something as the output? Well, you're in the right place. Today, we are diving into behind the scenes of how Java programs actually work. This knowledge isn't just useful. It's something that is often asked to you in your interviews. We'll break it down step by step. We'll explore everything from what happens when you first write your code to the moment it actually runs on your system. By the end, you will have a solid understanding of both the compilation and execution stages of Java. Also, if you are looking to level up your Java skills, check out Upgrade's Masters in Computer Science program. It's the perfect way to advance your career. Click the link in the description to learn more. And before we begin, make sure to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to never miss any update. So how does the Java programming language work? When you write a program in Java, you are creating what's known as source code. This is the code that you as a developer write using a text editor or an integrated development environment that is IDE. It's in a format that's easy for humans to read and understand, but it's not something your computer can execute directly. To make this code, it first needs to be translated into a form that your computer can understand. And that's where Java compiler comes in. The compiler takes your code and converts it into an intermediate form known as bytecode. This bytecode can run on any operating systems as long as that operating system has the Java runtime environment that is JRE. Unlike C++ where the code must be recompiled for different systems, Java's bytecode is portable. It can be executed anywhere, making Java a truly portable language. The process doesn't stop at compilation. Once the source code has been compiled into bytecode, the next stage is execution. During this stage, the Java virtual machine that is JVM comes into play. The JVM is a part of Java runtime environment and its job is to execute the bytecode. When you run a Java program, the JVM interprets the bytecode and translates into a machine code that your computer can understand. This translation happens on the fly, which is why Java programs can run on any system with JVM regardless of any underlying hardware or operating system. So this was about how does Java work, but what exactly happens under the hood when you run a Java program? Let's take a closer look at how Java programs work internally step by step. So the first thing that you see is the class declaration, public class upgrade. Think of a class as a container that holds your code. Here we are naming our class as upgrade. Public is an access modifier, which indicates that this class is accessible from other classes, meaning other parts of your program or even other programs can use this classes if needed. By the way, your class name upgrade needs to match your file name, that is upgrade.java. If they don't match, Java will get confused and won't run your code. So make sure it is same. Now that we have got our class set up, let's move on to the entry point of Java program the main method. So next is main method as we said, public static void main string arguments. This is where your program starts. It's like the starting point of your code. Java looks for this method or function when it starts running your program. Public is an access modifier, which means that the method can be called from anywhere even outside the class. The static part means it belongs to the class and not to the objects of the class. So Java doesn't need to create an object to run it and void is a data type, which means it doesn't return anything. The string arguments parameters allows the program to accept command line arguments if any are provided when the program runs. With the main method ready to go, the next step is to actually do something like printing a message to the console. So inside the main method, we have this line system.out.print. Let's learn Java that we have wrote. You can write anything you want. All this does is, is print that message to the console. You know, the black screen where you see outputs, here's how it works. So system is a built-in class that comes with Java. Out is a special tool in that class that lets you send stuff to the console. println is a method of the print stream class that prints what you tell to it. And it even adds a new line at the end. So each message starts on its own line. Okay, so now that we know that what code does, let's see what happens when you click on run the program. So compilation is the next step. Compilation just means turning your human readable code that you wrote into something the computer can actually run. When you compile your Java file that is upgrade.java, 
the Java compiler checks if everything is correct. If it is, it turns your code into bytecode and saves it in a file called upgrade.class. This bytecode is like a universal language that any computer can understand as long as it has Java installed. So once your code is compiled into bytecode, the next step is to get ready to run, that is class loading. Once your code is compiled and you run the Java program, Java's engine, that is JVM, loads that bytecode from upgrade.class file into memory. The JVM does a quick check to make sure everything is safe and sound before moving on. It's like a pre-flight check before taking off. With the class loaded and everything checked, it's time for the main event that is executing the main function. So after the class is loaded, the JVM looks for that main function we talked about earlier. This is where the real action begins. Java creates a little workspace in memory called a stack frame for the main method and start running the code inside it. As the main method runs, it reaches the part of the code where we print something to the console. All right, now printing to the console. As JVM runs the code, it hits the system.out.println line. This is when the message let's learn Java gets printed on the screen. That's pretty much it. And once everything is printed and done, the program finishes up. That is the termination. Finally, once the main method has finished executing all its statements, the program comes to an end. This is known as termination. The JVM then releases any resources that were allocated during the program execution, such as memory. During this entire process, the JVM also handles other important tasks like memory management and exception handling to ensure that your program runs smoothly without any issues. And there you have it. We have explored how Java programs work from the moment you write your code all the way to when it runs on your computer. We covered everything from class declarations, the main method and printing statements to how Java compiles and executes your code. Now you should have a much clearer understanding of what's happening behind the scenes every time you run the Java program. In the next video, we will understand variables in Java. So do subscribe to the channel because we will cover the complete Java series in the upcoming tutorials. Now before leaving, if you are interested in boosting your Java skills, our master in computer science program is perfect for anyone who wants to grow their career in development. In this program, you will explore advanced Java, learn about data structures, algorithms, front-end and back-end development, system design and more. You will work on 7 plus case studies and projects, get hands-on experience with 7 plus programming tools and languages, and benefit from one-on-one -on -one mentorship to guide your every step of the way. Don't miss out, click the link in the description to start your journey to mastering computer science today.